Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoy the video. I'm pretty excited for this episode. Uh, what's it called? I like to know the names of the episodes. Creation. At least in Ruby, not in like... I don't like it in cartoons, because it always gives the... Uh... What's it? The the plot of the, the episode away. Not in Ruby, but like in cartoons and shit. It's wild. Uh, yeah! Well, no, not just the synopsis. Like, even the title can be very revealing in a lot of... it. You know what I mean? It's like trouble with Magneto or some, sh you know, I don't know. Be ready for anything. We don't know what state pen. Absolutely. They give like little hints. Rev had the nerve to come with her. We put them down immediately. The general gave its terms. No more games. <sighs> Is there a problem? <laughs> Just retracing the steps that led us here. What is it, sir? Bro and Robin. They're in the academy hangar. Trying to stop the payload. No video yet, huh? Not Weird. Is it... I've been waiting to take my shot at this. How do I am I not streaming in the right place? Let's try it again. Someone needs to stay here with the general. I'll stay. Alright, let's let's try it again. Leverage. He's right. Contain him. Alright. Now. A little better? No? Hey! Course of action. I hope I'm gonna rewind it just a little bit. Where's my subtitles? Damn it, Crunchyroll! Looking for a way out. Not going to happen. Wait, where are they actually? They they don't have any. You lazy bastards! Someone needs to stay here with the general. I'll stay. If we lose the payload, we lose our leverage. He's right. Contain him. I would be less angry about no subtitles if I didn't know exactly how much they pay people to do them. <laughs> Damn it, Crunchy Roll. No, sir. I don't think that's possible. I didn't think you'd actually come alone. I expected at least some resistance from your friend. I like that he has a gun for his guns. Yeah. It's a double gun gun. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of the BFG. You've done the right thing. I have. Oh! Oh! Should have seen that coming. Nice! And she's gone. He got a tough face. Obviously, I know it's his aura, but. Ooh! He came through! If only I remembered his name! <laughs> oh! Marrow, okay. Damn, that was a nice little animation speed for. Oh! And her! Handoff! Goodbye! There went his aura. No, the hand didn't come off though. That would have been a really cool scene for that. I'm not gonna lie. We didn't want to drop Atlas either, but we've all had to make some tough calls, huh? I just thought that was a real. That was some nice, like anime style animations there. You know what I mean? He has to go to the vault. That's actually a risk. I really enjoy that kind of stuff. The mix is interesting in the newer seasons. Because it, it is definitely, and I mean, it, it's interesting because like I said, it's, it feels like some things have gone up and then some things have gone down to kind of like make the melding a little smoother in this season. Well, you'll never guess who I just heard from. <sighs> so, you're not arresting me? No. Ironwood's got to be stopped. 
Then why did you hit me? Because you were about to get killed if I didn't do something. Was she right, though? <laughs> what are you doing? What I should have done ages ago. Getting in touch with my sister. We're going to need help. Speaking of help. So we've got people trapped in Atlas and Mantle that we can't evacuate unless we use the staff, which is located inside the vault. If we open the vault, Kenny terminates. If Ironwood gets wind of any of this, he blows up Mantle. There's something else to consider. Once the staff creates anything else, the city drops. Atlas has enough natural gravity dust to keep it from plummeting immediately, but... Sorry, but nobody's going to want to be around when it touches down. It's gonna be Sokovia all over again. Then let's use the staff to teleport it. Or whatever the no, I don't remember where he dropped. To another kingdom. We can't just wave it like a magic wand and make our problems go away. And we haven't even told you about Jim. Who? The spirit and the staff. Like Jim. But well, he's a character. He can build you anything, but only if you can explain to him how. Like any craftsman, he'll need blueprints. Some sort of reference. It'll help if we have real-world examples to show him. I've already gone through the city layouts for the SCC evacuation. Maybe I can help. There's still James and his bomb to consider. Oh, I've got a plan for that. <coughs> so, that takes care of phase one. Meanwhile, the real Penny goes to the vault. With help. I blasted a hole through the bottom of Atlas, and I highly doubt they've had time for repairs. That should take you straight to it. All of that is the easy part. As soon as Penny nice stairs. Up, we go through, grab the staff, and stop her termination. Just hang in there, Penny. Okay? Yeah, the stairs were cooler than the door. <laughs> Still a cool door, though. I like that the world they go out into is just, like, this fucking grassy plain. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice landscape shot. Hey! He really is just like her. Genie and the, you know, staff. Mr. Ambrosius, uh, sir, listen, it's about our friend. He's, he's dying. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know it's against the rules for me to bring people back from the dead, so... That's not what we want. Nice genie reference. Not your typical girl. Instantly, nice. So she isn't. Love to meet whoever did this. Ooh. Ah, I see. There's something eating away at her. I'm, I'm guessing you think you have some clever plan to save her. Just know, I will give you exactly what you asked for, and I don't want any complaining when it's not what you wanted. We brought her schematics. We want you to make a new version of her using her exact same robot parts. Oh. oh using her existing robotic parts. Watch, he's going to say he can't do it. With them. Hmm. I'm going to be proven wrong immediately. If I take the robot parts out of her, that would leave... Penny, the girl who's always been there underneath it. Oh, okay, he's making a different body. It's against the rules. But you wouldn't be destroying her. Her soul is who she is. The mechanical parts are just... Extra. Yeah. But soul, Literally just talked about that. What would be left? I don't know. I guess we just have to get creative. <laughs> I suppose I could do a little oh, add a touch up. But if I do that, how much of the old penny would be my work and how much would be her? Just 
coming up to the surface. This is all very exciting and very dangerous. Uh, I don't know what the results are going to be. We don't have any other options. We believe in her. Yeah. Then ready yourselves to witness my artistry. Does this mean we get regular Penny and then evil Robo Penny? Or no, Ro Robo Penny is set to destruct, so never mind. Almost, almost forgot about that. Ah! I'm twice as happy now. It's young. <laughs> Where's my Nora statue? There you are. She's up there. She should be watching with us, but I'm too lazy to get her off the shelf. I guess that's the signal then. Let's see if we're moving forward in the vault. Hopefully, Penny is so, okay. So, the Atlas is moving. We need to get rid of four people panic. I'm wondering. Hurry. No, I know. If the exact details of this guy's powers. That did, uh, in that. Atlas stops working once he starts Penny, or whatever, the floating. So is he powering the machine structure, or is the machine that he made just disappear when he makes something else? Right. Oh no, the signal block! Wait, what happened? It's dead. The entire CCT. It just went down. And so did kingdom-wide communications. How? bigger question is uh that's not a good that's gonna come up next season or or maybe episode is that true yes we're using the staff to get everyone to safety someone can have the rubble we'll all be long gone are you are you going to leave me here she probably should when we're finished we'll move both of you to safety <laughs> oh winter thank you I... don't thank me it was Weiss's decision. Oh no! Penny? Watch out, the other Penny's gonna explode! The other question is what this, because obviously she has her maiden powers still, but a lot of her other stuff was robo stuff, so. We'll see how that goes. Are you okay? Do hugs always make you feel this warm inside? Okay, so now she has a real body. We should probably make sure our All right. Well, uh, once again, I'm just going to attribute it to magic. But the key was to make her a new body, but that was a real body. <laughs> ah, free to create then. Oh, it's you guys again. E. Not done with you yet. Ugh, fine. Let's try the quiz version. Can you make a bunch of doorways in Atlas that open at a single spot in vacuum? Sure! I'll just need coordinates and specs for each door and explanation for bending space and time to account for the much greater traffic on one side and the single point of exit on the other. Okay, that's about Not bad. Expected. So, we need they covered to most of the bases. For central location first. You're going to have to tell me more about this central location for starters. Uh, where is it? Here. A place like these vaults. Wherever they are, they're not part of Remnant. Only accessible if you know the right way in. Seems like a safe enough place for thousands of refugees. You kids are either smarter or much more foolish than you realize. I'm going to need a reference. Oh, we've got one. I like that they just have a... Wait, are they... I have no clue what they're doing at this point. My question is where they got the teleportation stuff. Did they have teleporting and I just didn't see it the whole seven seasons? Like this, like Stargates. Alright, 
So All right, my my big thing is how is he making these doorways when he can only make things that they can explain to him how to make? Do they know how to make these doorways? And and Okay. And I'm just wondering where that comes from cuz we have that's the only thing that hasn't come uh that hasn't been explained yet is the vaults. So that Fair, yeah. People enter from Atlas and Mantle on one side. And leave on the other side. It's a one-way ticket to Vacuo. Well, everything appears to be in order. You were quite good. Disappointing. It's just stuff that, once again, it's is is quick so it's not been uh detailed out which i mean they tend to do so it's not surprising they're 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 a, they're much bigger on going back and explaining things than explaining things ahead of time do not fall do not fall okay All of us. All right. I hope that we've thought of everything. Ah, that's impossible. <laughs> that's is just literally impossible. Oh, that's good. I like that. All right, we're gonna. I don't watch the outros because the music always screws me, but I do like to look at the stuff. Twelve and thirteen. I like that they do their scaling pretty well. A lot of shows don't care about scaling, and it's something that's very important. All right. All right. Well, that was a pretty good episode. Like I said, my only thing on that one was like it's, the two things was the question about the door, which is pretty answered as long as you consider that as Ozpin makes the original vault doors. Oh, nice. I did see that one. Yes. Yeah, they were definitely real quick. I did see the Atlas schematic. I, the other ones were just so quick that they you couldn't see them. They went by real fast. Let's see where. Relations of ending space and time. Single point of end. Where is Carter? <laughs> no, no, it was right before that. There's one, which is AMC HQ, the shipment systems. Oh wait, maybe we missed a couple. Seems like a safe enough place for thousands of refugees. Carter. We've got one. There. Two. So she there's one that's backwards, you can't see it. So that's the second one. And the third one. So yeah, I, the only one I missed is the first one really, since it's backwards. I can't tell what it is though. Carter. Oh much more foolish than you realize. I'm going to need a reference. Oh, we've got one. Okay. And actually, they do show it right here. So this is... Now this... Is this where the other team's at? Then we switch to this one, which is... The AMCHQ. And then the shipment system. Which that looks like... We've got one. That actually looks like a combination of the Atlas and the space-time stuff. Based on the mapping that's down here. 
under the thing. Those are cross variables. That's a cross or uh, fuck is it called? I mean, it's technically looks like a height map, but there's another fucking word in physics for it or whatever when you plane it out. And I can't remember it. Damn it, I just watched a video on that. Anyway, that was really good. I like it. I do wonder... I, it feels like a lot of the confrontation is going to be... Obviously, the, obviously they dropped the bomb about don't fall off the edge, so someone's falling off the edge. Uh, easy. Chekhov's gun. But my question is still like the, uh, the leading up to the, the final battle kind of thing. In that we just saw Ironwood fight, oh, was it like four people or five people? So uh, we've we've seen that he can be managed, right? Like he's a manageable force with enough people. So in, enable to to enable him to be threatening, we're either gonna have to give him his weapon back for one, because that should that should theoretically make him right stronger. I don't know. I don't I don't write their story, so I would guess that's what it would do. Yeah, it was a gun for his guns, or I mean, obviously it's, yeah, it's a gun gun. Which is cool, and I mean, that obviously seems like it'd be pretty strong. I mean, even if just for the fact that it's fancy and cool, and that means stronger in, a, in anime and cartoons. But the, uh, the big thing I'm wondering is how exactly they're going to push him as that big kind of enemy threat. I'm guessing it's going to come down to him and like one or two people. Probably Ruby, if I had to make a strong guess based on themes, etc., and I, I do like that, because obviously this threat... It's funny, because the threat for me is similar to, uh, like, a parallel of the uh, Salem stuff, in that while he is, you know, a threat, he is not the threat. He is the person wielding the threat, right? Like, he's wielding the bomb, and therefore extremely dangerous. Not saying he's not dangerous all on his own, but that's where the, the true enemy lies much in the sense that right like off off, off that, that obviously because you can't beat salem beating salem or killing salem isn't the goal it's defeating and pushing back the grim right so it's it's going to be very interesting how they frame it i'm sure they do a good job uh we also have uh cinder and neo if you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.